Today, I'm gonna to show you how to record or stream games using StreamYard. Step number one is to log into StreamYard.com. This is the dashboard right here. And just to give you a heads up, you're not gonna be able to record any videos or gameplay under 4K or even 1080 without signing up for StreamYard. That being said, consider signing up using my affiliate link from one creator to another. I'm just trying to help you out here. Step number two, we need to click on create a live stream or a recording. I highly advise you do the recordings first just to get really good at this before you actually go into live streaming. So let's click on create recording. Next, we need to title or name our recording. Let's go with gameplay 7000. All right, click on create recording then. And this is going to enter the studio where we can kind of change all the settings and what have you. Next, what we need to do is attach our microphone and camera. Make sure you have your camera set up properly. The audio is huge when it comes to this kind of stuff. You can click on the settings tab here and it's going to allow you to choose the camera, the camera resolution of recording, choose your audio, and you can also choose virtual backgrounds, etc., etc., and your display name. You can change that if you turn it off, whatever. Click on enter studio next then to get in here. All right, so this is what the studio looks like now. So first what we need to do here is click on this down here to add you to the stage. It's your microphone and all of your audio. It's your camera and your mic and so forth. What you see here in the dashboard, this is what's going to be recording when we click on record. So let's add our gameplay. If you go down to the bottom of these set of tabs down here, you can click on present here. There's a couple different tabs to choose from. Slides, extra camera, video file, or share screen. What we need to click on is share our actual screen. This is where you need to choose the window or the tab or the screen in which your game is on. Mine is in a, my game is within a Chrome tab, so I'm gonna choose that. Or if you have a window, whatever window your gaming is being presented in, that's what you need to click on. Or to be safe, you can just record your entire screen. I'm gonna choose the game here. This is what it looks like, then click share. So this is what it popped up as, and then it will automatically pop up the screen in your game because it's, it's ready to record. But what you wanna do is click back to StreamYard here, take a look at what's being recorded. We next need to change the layout in which you want it to be presented. Cause if I just click on record here, this is what it's going to look like. I tend to like this aspect ratio right here. If you click on these layout features here, this is the one I tend to use for gaming or streaming games because it just looks the best in my honest opinion. But there's a bunch of different layouts you can choose from and you can switch while recording, which is really cool. Then now if we clicked go live or go or record and we went back to our game and started playing, that's actually going to record it. A little piece of advice here, make sure that you actually have the audio from the game being recorded as well. So if you go down here to the different windows down in the left hand corner, you you can hover over this icon, the volume icon feature. Uh, and you need to make sure you don't have the screen audio muted. So if I click that, it mutes it. If I click it, it unmutes it. Make sure you do not have it muted. Because after all, you want your webcam audio and your screen recording to be together, right? Gonna sound funny. And then next, before we get to recording here, you can go over here on the right-hand side here. This is the chat window. So when people do chats while you're live streaming, you can actually reply to them live here and it will pop up in the live chat on YouTube or wherever you are, Twitch, whatever. And then you can actually highlight things. Like say, if you click on a comment, it will highlight it on the screen. You can also add custom banners here. So if I click this, I can do this. Rank my gameplay, guys. Uh, I suggest trying to get people to like, uh, you could lay over banners and get people to comment because that's kind of how you get that retention and the gameplay and people to subscribe, right? The interaction. Then you can choose the brands here. You can choose the color of everything. You can put custom logos as watermarks. So in case people want to steal your footage, etc., etc. You can add multiple people to here too. Say if like you're both playing in the game or there's three people, you can just invite people to play this same exact game and you can record it all. That would actually be really entertaining. I gotta say so I'll hide that banner so a couple pieces of advice I would say to be very careful on what screens you're gonna be choosing you know and it's hard to be playing the game and also coming back to the StreamYard window. Say if you came back to this window and you just changed it to this screen and now you're just talking to this screen and you're talking to your viewers but you want to switch back it's not that difficult but just be aware on how to use the layout feature because it's huge because if you click on this one or this one I mean uh, the people aren't going to be able to see it as well, but it could still be a, you know, if, if you're trying to story tell while playing a game or something, this could be better. You can also even just go into full screen of the game and do it this way. StreamYard makes this extremely easy to do, and you can just sit there and change the different layouts while recording or while being live. I've had a lot of success doing like reaction videos as well using StreamYard with this and gaming. This is like a perfect tool to be using. Again, guys, if you're on the fence with StreamYard, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. Just go give it a try. It's free. Please use my link. But essentially, you just click record 
or go live and then you do your recording and then when you're done playing your game playing whatever then you just come back here and click stop another piece of advice this thing it's going to test your computer parameters if you have a strong computer hopefully you do you're going to need it because as you record all this it's not easy especially if you have the 4k recording package um, but chances are you have a strong computer because you're a gamer. Then when you're done, just click stop, and then you just go into the user dashboard of StreamYard, and then all of your previous recordings will be in here. You can download it, you can uh, delete it from wherever it is, you can do all these settings. It's extremely easy, guys. StreamYard makes this so easy, and that's the beauty of it. So hit me up in the comments. What are you looking to do with gaming or streaming games on StreamYard? What games do you play? I would love to hear from you. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.